Hi YouTube, this is Sandra aka your girl Simply Love here to do your September reading for uh, September 2016 and I'm going to do it for the sign of Sagittarius. And welcome to my channel, thank you all for viewing, thank you all for sharing my videos and I thank you all for your wonderful beautiful comments. Um, I also want to say, um, what was I going to say? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I got a couple of announcements. Please don't fast forward because this is going to benefit you guys too. I just want to make an announcement of a friend of mine that I know, which is Kareem Raymer L. Uh, if you go to his uh, channel, which is Kareem uh, Spirit Works, um, he's really good with astrology. I know you guys love astrology. I'm trying to learn some. I'm learning some from him myself. Um, he's very, very good, very intelligent. You guys, run on over to his YouTube channel, okay? And he also has a book out called From the Beginning to the End. And I got the book. I read about half of it. Very interesting, very good. You can go to uh, Amazon and get an ebook or physical copy. You can get it from Amazon. But you can get all the details from him when you go over to visit his uh, his uh, YouTube channel. Very, very good with astrology. Very With a lot of things, basically. He covers a lot of things. Um, um, very intelligent young man. I'm glad to have known, uh, to know him. And I want to just say hi to my girl, uh, the gem star. I see her a lot on my Facebook and I'm on her Facebook page. And thank you for all the wonderful, positive energy that you're putting out there, Jimmy. I love you so much. So go on over to Angelic Whispers 13 and go see her too. Check her videos out. You think I'm something with being straightforward. She she is too. She's she's something else. <laughs> and she is a queen of swords as well as I am. All right. Um, and that's all I have to say for the beginning. And we're going to uh, start the reading. Um, I was using this here. As you can see, this is a purple ribbon here. I made my own pendulum because I use this in my readings for my yes or no questions like if somebody had a yes or no I used I made my own pendulum here I, I got the purple in um, uh, for the to keep the energies of Prince in my readings he, you know this is dedicated to him and for his uh, energies to come into my readings That's, and this is purple as well and it fell off the chair yesterday and broke <sighs> So I'm going to try to get somebody to fix it. It's made out of some kind of glass material here. And if you look at it, it's like, I don't know if you guys can see it as good as I can, but it's like a 3D effect in there. And you talking about me seeing stuff out of this bad boy. Not only just using it as a pendulum, but I can see things out of it as well. Like a story. I can just look at it and show me a story. So I'm going to share this with you guys too. Almost like the crystal, but I can see that they're like figures like shadows however they give it to me thank you spirit guide for this okay so i'm going to do this in the beginning it's going to be like general okay this will be a general portion portion of the reading and it's just going to be short okay so just a minute while i tune in thank you guys so much i'm looking at somebody here um, and it looks like they're very very unhappy about something very sad I feel depression um, for some of you Sagittarius is out there I feel like there's like this is this is something I believe is just going to be going on because of the retro retrograde the mercury retrograde is going to bring on um, a lot of emotional feelings and things like that because of it have you having to face yourself you have to face issues in your life people coming back from the past you don't know if they're what to do to keep them or leave them you know things like that is going to come up but you it's basically about self evaluation and putting things on hold you know don't do nothing too hasty during this retrograde which is going to start from august i think august 30th till the 22nd of uh, september then we also have um uh an eclipse coming up of uh, a full moon eclipse coming up as well so uh, for don't don't make no decisions at this time about anything people coming back from the past don't jump and make no hasty decision because you're going to regret it Fa friends family that you may have um, not seen in a while because of some some type of something happened or whatever if they come back you know hold up on things for a while for at least two weeks into September or either just wait the whole month out you'll have more clarity from the um, from the uh, 
self evaluation. What what this Mercury, this this planet Mercury is doing is just trying to help us all come to uh, terms with ourselves and what we want in our life, how we feel about ourselves, things of that nature. So I'm picking up a lot of sadness, a lot of crying, and some disappointments for you Sagittarius out there. Not all of you, just some of you, because it's just a general reading. I'm picking up. I see somebody being very sad and very just unhappy, and they're just like walking through, just walking down this road like of unhappiness, uh, heartbroken, um, disappointment, um, depression. I'm feeling as well. Just all around, not feeling good at all about a situation. I could feel the tears. It's gonna be a lot of. It's gonna be like a, a almost like a tearful emotional type retrograde but it's not going to be as bad as the first I'm also seeing like um, some letters or some messages and I'm telling you this has been coming out for basically most of the signs so I'm seeing something somebody sending you some letters or you're going to hear some kind of communications or you're trying to communicate with somebody Sagittarius or somebody's trying to communicate with you could be family members could be uh, lovers ex-lovers somebody now husbands wives things of that nature I'm feeling like communication coming in or you could be trying to communicate with somebody that you're worried about because of this crying and looking sad and disappointed and heartbroken for some of you. So I'm seeing letters just flying. Letters. So this could be letters. This could be, you know, any type of communication because I see the letters. You know, even if you do the tarot, you see letters like or something like that. It could be something uh, online dating or something like that that went wrong. You might have found out about something with somebody online. It didn't come out the way you thought it was going to come out or something. You might hear some news about this person. Maybe you saw this person and was disappointed. There's uh, several scenarios going through my head. And I'm telling y'all I have to hurry up and say these things before I, I forget. Some of you is going to be via text, phone calls, letters going out, letters coming in or texts going in and text is going out somebody's trying to get in touch with somebody okay because there might have been a sudden loss also see um some of you Sagittarius is going to be like I said disappointed male and female now and it doesn't mean everybody because it's a general reading but this is going to occur to a, lo a lot of you Sagittarius is out there email me let me know or comments can't comment me um <clears throat> There may be somebody, for some of you, there's somebody coming back that you used to know before from the past. This could be, because this is the general point of the reading, it could be anybody, okay? And this person's reaching out to you or you're reaching out to this person for some reason. And you're going to find out, you may have gotten back involved with this person, whoever it is, or you, or they may have gotten back involved with you. And you're going to you're going to find out they're still the same for some of you you're going to find out they're still the same there nothing's changed okay and it's going to be like some bickering and back and forth with each other you're going to say they haven't changed at all same old same old okay because i do see two people in each other faces And one's got their hand up like this, like, you know, like point, like, or either talk, you know, this type of thing. I don't want to hear it or here we go again. Somebody's going to try to either you, uh, Sagittarius is male, or female, uh, see, they're going to try to, they're going to, don't let them get to you like they done in the past if it's a past relationship or a past friendship or or family member something like that don't let them get your temper riled up and don't let them push you in a corner or make what i'm seeing them make, pushing you like, like they're like you're up against the wall and they're just like going to try to attack okay 
somebody's going to try to, you know, I don't know if it's going to be physical because they just, all I see is just something, it looks like an attack, like they get ready to attack or pushing you or pushing you too far or wanting to argue something. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting in what I see in here. So, so that's general and love mixed together to me. I'm just going, y'all let me go with the flow of this because this is, is new. Like I said, with this, and um, I see a lot, and I'm getting a whole lot of information. So, for some of y'all, there's somebody coming back that you used to know, okay? Whether it's a relationship, family member, whatever, because this is a general part of the reading. Uh, but I'm reading intuitively, and uh, or hearing what my guides are saying, or and um, it's something that you've been sad about and been longing for, for some of you, been longing for it for a long time, been sitting back waiting for it for a long time, okay, what you think about, you bring about, so it comes back, and then once it comes back, you're disappointed, because they come in and, and, and went right back out of your life again, or they disappointed you in some kind of way, and you've seen the light, like they there's nothing changed that's what I'm picking up so let me draw some cards for you okay for the love for love for love and I'm gonna draw four cards okay you guys Sagittarius is and remember how it goes if you see a man and you're a man watching and there's a man card court card to come up you know it's for uh, it's a female and if it's a female watching and a woman comes up it's a man as far as a court card is concerned okay y'all know this y'all already know by now so I am shuffling here's one that just popped out here okay this is the five of swords Mm. All, all four flew out. I gotta pick them up. Gotta get them. Actually, you got an extra one. So I'm gonna, I'm just going with the flow. What my angel guys tell me. So you guys, uh, Sagittarius, are getting look like one, two, three, four, five cards. So okay. Five cards. So like I said, you got the uh, five of swords. All right, and you got the the high priestess. You got the queen of cups or king of cups. You got the lovers, major arcana. And you got the strength card, major arcana. All right, let's look at this thing here. Okay, Sagittarius. Like I said, when I read inside the, the thing here, what did I say when I was reading it? Okay, I said, it feels like somebody's going to be very aggressive and being very pushy. And that's what I'm seeing here. And I'm reading them intuitively, not what the books say. Just as I did when I looked into the, uh, the crystal there or the, the, the glass. I'm going to call it a little gl glass crystal or whatever it is but because it's, it's made out of glass it's not crystal and um i said somebody's going to be pushy demanding you know or trying to push you into a corner this person is coming with um baggage if you can see the uh stuff in the background there this per you two been here be you two have been down this road before is what I'm hearing from my angel gods. You've been through this road before. Um, you thought they may have changed, but they haven't. Look at the face. Don't look like a Freddy Krueger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Remember what I said about fake and false person? So this person, that's what it's telling me. Like It's like all of a sudden they just like somebody you you've been thinking about or whatever somebody from the past for these relationships male female uh singles couples you know um somebody's come back here but you know you might have thought that they changed or was something different but look at their they, they, they turned on you they're trying to back you up in the corner they're trying to be forceful this is what i seen in that glass okay 
This is some similar to what it looked like, but it was just shadow people that I saw. And they're being very um, demanding. They're very, they're very controlling. Like I said, the face... Freddy Krueger like a mug. That's what it looked like to me, Freddy. And they got their sword up, okay? They ready to fight. This is not a, this person, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? Or it's, um, it, they, it may be in their natal chart somewhere, but they're, they're coming with some, some, some stupid shit, okay? They come in the ready fight and they're trying to domineer, you know, trying to take control of you. Some of you, this may be happening now. You may be in a relationship with somebody like this. For some of you, it's somebody from the past coming back with this bullshit. Again, you already know who they are because of what's going on in the background here. It's like you've been there, done that before. And they come in, they probably came in all innocent, telling you that they're sorry and they're going to change. Things like that. For some of you Sagittarius is out there, okay? And you're going to take this person back and then, you know, then here comes the face falling off. The fakery shit. That was they were fake, so their face changed to that same old person you knew in the past. They bring in baggage and they try to put it all on you again, trying to make you feel like you ain't shit. You know what I mean? Being demanding, um, ready to fight all the time, saying has nasty things to say. Um, bringing their baggage what they went through too as well as they did before this was like a, a relationship that just wasn't make wasn't kicking it always ready to fuss always ready to fight um, want, very domineering um, uh, they mentally if they mentally uh, hurt you they were playing mind games with you okay just as when for those who a uh, comeback is somebody who wants to come back in your life they're the same person they're f they're putting on a fake false and once they get back in they're going to treat you the same way they did before for some of you guys this is there you're already in this already to where you took this person back already and you and, and you see the same old same old f fake false person they doing the same thing to you they did to you be that broke the relationship up in the first place like I said, they're carrying the energies of Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or it could be their sun, moon, or rising sign, okay? Um, yeah, they coming in with some, some wanting to fight and making you feel sad and blue. Making you feel like, you know, mentally stressed out. They're stressing you out mentally because that's what the swords does. It's something mental going on, okay? It's a mental thing. Okay, then we have the High Priestess here, okay? The High Priestess is coming, and this is a major arcana card for you, okay, Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius, you male or females. Um, wait. That's what the High Priestess is here for. They was t telling you to wait. That the high priest is somebody who you know who holds secrets and things like that or secrets that are hidden something not being told and you see there's four one two three four moons one is in your lap is like it's all up in your face you've seen this before okay now they're back in your lap again doing the same old thing but you had up uh, you got other opportunities up here that you're looking at but you still got that in your lap how can how can these come in uh, Sagittarius when you still holding on to that you brought that back in your life or for some of y'all you never did get it out yet and they're causing you anguish and heartache and pain okay and they got their baggage they're, they're being mean that's all I can say and they're trying to be they're trying to be pushy they're trying to push their self on you for some of you that are coming back they're trying to be pushy about it all right and with the high priestess, she's saying, you know, you, she's trying to come in to tell you this is major. This is a very spiritual card. Um, the high priestess knows things, okay. Um, she, like I said, there's secrets that's hidden for those of you who um, are still in a relationship with this person. There's secrets, you know. You, you, you're not seeing the whole picture yet, but you're going to. It's all gonna come out. For some of you Sagittarius, male, females out there. 
that's going through this or have went through this or going to go through this if it had if they if, if you heard from this person uh, you know during this retrograde and they come and you know want to come back and they're going to try to put on this act you're going to see the fakeness in them okay so you know sit there and wait first before you take it in wait on it because you got other opportunities up here don't miss out on your other opportunities or leaving your uh, options open for some of you Sagittarius male and females you know I'm saying don't take nothing else and you know don't get worried about it because that your options aren't going anywhere but you got to get this thing out first you got to you know you know you got to look into that they're trying to, you know, the high priest is trying to tell you to look into this secret thing, what's going on. The secret is that they ain't changed. That's all. They're going to be the same old, same old. So use your intuition. Use your fit, your gut fit. Your, the high priest is saying use your uh, intuition and your, some of you maybe ha have some kind of uh, feeling about this. Some of you already know. And it's a matter of time. All right. Okay, so now we have the Queen of Cups. Look at you, sobbing, crying. A lot of the signs are going to be going through this because of the retrograde. Okay? A lot of you are going to be going through this. Almost every sign. You know, this, this, this. Look at her dr dress. Just say I see he or him because this is general reading. Okay? And it's the King or Queen of Cups. Okay? And it's still the moon. There, look, look at that. You know. You know, and you got your hand in the water and your foot in the water there. You're testing the waters. You already been there, done that because you know why? Your clothes are all ripped up and torn up. And that's just telling, you know, these signs telling me, you know, things like, you know, you've been through this before. Been through it before. You want to go through it again. This is what's going to happen. You're going to end up miserable, crying, drinking. Some of y'all going to try to drink your problems away like, oh, oops. You remember that song that Britney Spears, whoops, I did it again or something like that. Whoops, I fell in a limousine and showed my, <laughs> you know what I mean. You know, oops, I did it again. That's what this was reminding me of. Whoops, oops. Didn't mean to make that mistake again, but uh, looks like somebody ain't listening to the high priestess here. Somebody. Oops, I tripped and did it again or something like that. Oops, the paparazzi caught me with my legs gapped wide open. You know what I'm trying to say? Being, um, uh, some of you, not all of you, okay? Some of you being careless, reckless with your emotions. So, it got you this, jacked up again, okay? All jacked up again. Going through this emotional mess again, all over again. I just keep hearing again, again, again for a lot of y'all. Just, uh, you know, I'm not talking to every Sagittarius out there, just a certain bunch out there who God knows who He's talking to. You know, somebody offered you their love, or you, 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 you know, you, you got too emotional in this comeback of this person. And they just done the same old damn thing again. High priestess try to tell you something. You know, hey, you took it. You knew. But you done it anyway. You let your emotions take over. Offering your love again. And what you do, end up getting heartbroken. Trying to test that, test the waters out again. Get your hand and your foot out of that water. Get it together. Put, put some freaking clothes on, why don't you? Some of you Sagittarius's. Male or female. Okay, <laughs> and now we have the lover's card. Okay, that's your fourth card there. This is this is what you thought the ending was going to be. This is what you were hoping for, wishing for. But you jumped in too soon from somebody from the past, or this is still going on. Some of this, this some of these may be somebody you was married to or still is in a marriage with, and you still may be dream, you might be dreaming still about this um, being some kind of, uh, some kind of soulmate or something like that. You still thinking it's some kind of soulmate. Don't get it twisted. When they make you act like this, and you know it, you have some intuition about it, you got a gut feeling about that they, 
exposed herself to you uh, as I told you earlier in the general they already showed their true colors you you know set, it, it all goes together with what I already t said um, what I seen okay you thought it was gonna be a marriage some of you some of you it was a marriage but and they come back and it's still the same old same old don't get tricked you don't need to fall in love with nobody like this that's gonna have you all like this why why even think about it because you should have known with the high priest here you already knew because they showed you who they really are look at that face that fake something freddy freddy krueger done come out the krueger in him done can't him or her done come out and showed you look same old bullshit going down and now you got to go through this again. Secrets done, you know. They done revealed their self. And you was hoping for this. Some of y'all don't need to be. If this is what your situation that you're in right now. And they're taking you through heartache and pain. You don't, you don't need to go. You don't have to go through that. Because love, if you let go of this, love can come in for some of you Sagittarius out there that's going through this already or going through this. Or it may be coming. Look, this is a heads up here. This could be coming up here too. So use the high priestess to your advantage and see what's going on. Go by your instincts and know that this person ain't true. Or if you're already in a relationship, it's been a long-term relationship or marriage or something like that or a relationship. Look, if they somebody's coming back or they back in your life and you haven't gotten to this yet, it's coming. Um, don't waste your time. Some of you don't waste your time. You still got a chance at love, like I told you here. You, you, but some of you is taking this thing back right because this one's not illuminated this is a moon but it's not illuminated yet you know and but there's still options out there that's how i'm reading it as what my intuition is telling me or my spirit guides that you know and and they're all lit up they're ready to go but that one you holding on to there you need to let that go before something you know still the moon up there you're gonna you're going to get towed up again from the flow up with alcohol, drugs, the soothe, the ease, the pain and all that. Or you just going to be hurt and just distraught, okay, emotionally. Um, and you don't need to be uh, this, this could stop this love situation if you let this get in the way or stay, let it, you know, or let it, you know, stay in your life. You, you're going to miss out on love, okay true love real love some of y'all are just in a imaginary you, you're putting yourself in some kind of dream world with this person because you want them so much but crying and they have you crying and going on and worrying and going on and secrets and shit going on and some of them maybe even getting physical with y'all not only mentally but physically too you want to put up with that you want to marry somebody like that Ugh. I'm going to give y'all the eye my mom used to give me when I was little when she told me not to do something. That meant a lot. It used to stop me in my tracks when she looked at me like that. And I'm going to look at y'all like that. Okay, so... <laughs> so your, your next card is the strength, okay? So your angel guides and your... Most High God is trying to tell you they want to, you need to have strength and have control of the beast in you, or you need to get control of yourself or this of this person, you know, or they want to give you the strength so you can uh, make the right choice here. Okay, get this ball out of your pocket here. This this thing here that come back from the past or in your life for a while here and all they doing is cause you pain and aggravation the one from the past come back ain't no good still they still the same old same old <clears throat> you can even use the high priestess as <clears throat> knowing your feeling your gut feeling and you know it before you get hurt again um and find out things um or some of y'all are going to just be in this situation and you need to get out so you can get love love is still here for you because of the opportunities that's being given here but you got to get rid of something first in order to get it if you don't you're just going to be stuck like this 
okay feeling you, you don't need to be that way look for the look for go for the real thing the real true love is something there waiting for you but you got to have the strength to let this go and your angel gods are saying they're giving it to you this is a major arcana major event male or female y'all need to get with the program get the strength and get the heck up out of here you know out of this relationship from this person either you're doing this to them or they doing it to you Sagittarius males and females just some not all okay that's all I'm getting out of that that's all I can say just be careful these comeback situations be careful identify with it if you need to talk to somebody call somebody and talk to them but don't stay in this situation most of y'all because you're going to miss out on your love thing okay now what i'm going to do for you guys okay i'm giving you a bonus card which is the vintage wisdom cards oracle vintage vintage oracle cards we're going to go back way back being you like these past relationship issues and i'm going to shuffle these bad boys are big I'm just going to pick one out of here for y'all. Wait a minute. Was I doing? No. Yeah. No, I'm not doing this one. I'm going to, I'm going to pick a love card out for you, okay? For possible outcome. Possible outcome. There's a bunch of them. These are poppy love cards, okay? And we're going to see what some of y'all might be doing here. See what the see what the guys have to say as an ending here for some of y'all or a possible outcome or what you should do you know what I mean what you should do we already told you some of y'all most of y'all need to do so I want to pick two cards okay two possibilities here male and female let me put my glasses on so these come in reversals and they tell you the reversal both of them came upright okay and the first one says a passionate love affair with a person asked about so the person you're asking about or talking about that's in the dark here is you know having an affair there's a still a love they're still the same they're having a, a love affair with somebody and it's just passionate or they just want to come to you for for passion you know passion is what making love you know having sex or whatever that they may only want you for that then they're just back where they came from okay and then the second one says love will fade unless a lot of work and effort are put into the relationship so some of y'all is going to put that effort and stuff into it you know but it's going to be a lot of work it's going to is it think about it some of y'all Sagittarius male females if this is you this happening to you, you you better think long and hard because this is going to take a long time is it going to be worth your time is it going to be worth the wait look at that highway there that's highway that's a long it's going to take some time is what they saying if you want it if you, if some of y'all ain't willing to give it up turn it loose that's what james brown said give it up turn it loose Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's give it up and y'all want that want to hang in there go ahead on and waste your lifetime or half your life trying to put this thing together because it's going they clearly telling you it's going to take a long time if that's what the heck you want to do all right that's they you've been told you've been told if you want to hold on hold the heck on for while the world go by you and you're sitting up there in aggravation trying to make this thing work if it does work, it's going to take, you know what, you're going to be old in a wheelchair or something or old sitting out, you know, and, and then y'all two looking at each other like, what the heck, you can't, nothing you can do now, but look at each other because y'all old and crept up and, ain't, you know, most of your life done went by, but it's been unhappy because you've been trying to stay in there and make this thing work for some of you, not all of you, okay, just keeping it all the way right real, okay, like how I always do. I ain't got no kind of time for sugarcoating nothing. None of us have time for that, okay? So, I'm reading your Oracle, Vintage Wisdom Oracle card. See what they have to say. Here's one sticking out here. All right. So, what that says is dreams. Remember when I pulled out the lover's card? You know, I think you can dream up your soulmate. Dream for it. Dream your dreams. 
meditate. I tell everybody to meditate. That's what you have to do to calm your spirit, it, to be become whole. See that in the background? It's like a circle behind her, right? That's coming full circle. She's dreaming, maybe dreaming about what type of person she wants, you know, dreaming or, or bringing to fruition what you want. Just dream, dream about it. Um, meditate about it of what you want in a relationship and bring it to you okay bring it in your life dream it in your life dreams do come true it's, it's just like meditation you're dreaming you're hoping and you're wishing see those beautiful roses in his or her face depending on who look at the video make your dreams come true come full circle with yourself come full circle because that's what she wants he or she wants it depends on who watching the video trying to get to where see and there's light around it as well so manifest this manifest is, is dreaming that's all it is is putting it in your head of what you want how you want it if you have to write it down write it write it down write down what you do want you know the red roses is there write down what you do want don't even think about what you don't want you already know what you don't want or you should from this relationship so you already know that relationship was there for you for a lesson, for you to learn from and grow, you know, to keep excelling, to grow yourself. It's not, you know, nothing's being punished. You punish your own self by taking yourself through these type of situations. And then you got to come climbing back out of it. And it takes, you know, the longer you hang in there, the longer it takes for you to heal from it. If you just don't, you just, you know, say, look, I got to let this go. You know what I'm trying to say? So heal now. A lot of you Sagittarius out there, male and female, heal yourself now. Dream of what the uh, dream and dream and um, bring your uh, soulmate into you. Come full circle. It's time to come full circle now. That's what I believe I can say with the Mercury retrograde here is, you know, do you want to go full circle here? Come full circle. Make your life full. You know, make your life uh, a pleasant experience here because that's what this is. This life is an experience 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 a, create you a good experience in this life Sagittarius male and female that's going through this okay come full circle in your life don't wait most of your lifetime uh, hanging in there trying to make something work that's not you it, it may but it's gonna you gonna be old and crepit by the time you know there ain't nothing that you can enjoy because you done took most of your life trying to straighten out something um, that was unrepairable you wasted your most of your life and you know you got to think about that and and is it going to be worth it you know is it going to be worth it Sagittarius all right so that's your reading okay Sagittarius a lot of you guys need to think about something put it to a stop before it comes some of y'all that's already going through this you need to think about it and get at, get the heck up out somebody coming back they, they're not going to be they're going to be the same person they're going to reveal their self to you or the high priestess is there to give you um clear signs of that clear signs of it there's the you know they're going to clearly show you or some of you sagittarius is out there male or female you holding on to something right you're holding on you know for dear life and you know good and darn well is not good for you you know it you can feel it with the high priestess being there as a, your spiritual energies, okay? Use her and use it to your advantage, okay? Uh, and let it go. So love, you've seen the lover's card there so you can get real love. And you've seen the dream card, dream your soulmate into your life. You know, write down the things that you want out of life. You don't have to sit here and cry most of your life away, okay? Make it, This you're here in this life to make it better not worse okay you're here to learn from your mistakes some people are in our life for just a a, a a season okay and they're here to teach us lessons okay we're not here to be repeating lessons over and over and over and over again the same old same old lessons it's time to grow this is what mercury's that's why they're slowing things down for you wait on it wait wait on it everybody Okay, Sagittarius is anyway who I'm talking to. So I just want to take this time to say here, yeah. and my guides told me I should be using this card in 
each and every one of my readings so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be making my own cards okay in the process now I got most of them done so this is the sample that they told me to use in each and every reading I don't know why but they told me to do this so I'm gonna do it and it says jealousy is a very sick feeling to have towards anyone why they wanted me to read this one for every sign it is i don't know but i'm going to do what they tell me to do you know that's my job to do what they tell me to do um they are my words i've written them i've done all the uh graphics of the card and everything so that's what you know when i bring them out this is one of them and it's all my work and then i'm going to on the back of it i'm like say what i always say to you and you can all say it with me sagittarius is love is all there is and love is all there ever be that's a sexy me right there like that that was like when i way back in my, my way back days i was a teenager i had a little shape like that so i'm just like i'm dreaming too that i it would come back <laughs> that's a cartoon me that I wish to have okay <laughs> I'm just kidding y'all yeah it is a little cartoon character of me um and with my saying at the bottom of it love is all there is love is all there ever be okay and um thank you so much for tuning into my channel um you guys watch out uh, on, for the mercury retrograde people coming back and things of that nature be very very careful be wise take your time don't make no fast decisions on anything um as far as general wise anything don't make no wait at least two weeks into september or just wait till the retrogrades over to the 22nd of september okay don't make no drastic mistakes i mean no drastic decisions on anything even somebody come to me oh put a ring on it put a ring on it put a ring on it put a ring on it, put a ring on it. nah mm -mm, not yet anyway okay well you guys take care i love each and every one of you thank you so much for viewing my channel and thank you for the lovely lovely comments and thank you for sharing my videos and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead on down there and push that subscribe button okay okay all right thank you so much and have a wonderful september everyone bye-bye